step deck to help with an cri critical aspect of the program, including a tax slip for DMV records, so violators can be processed quickly and accurately. No delinquent capital. Our colleagues in the council have spent many days advocating for the state of New York City and the state of Good afternoon, everyone. This is a historical day in the city of New York. Uh, we are acting, voting on legislation that will create in the city of New York the new law that will allow to establish our own speed camera program. Today we will be voting on essential pieces, piece of legislation, Intro 1089, introduced by Speaker Johnson, myself, Council Member, and Pre Samuel Lander and Jonah avert a crisis by reestablishing the speed camera program in school zones. Because of the failure of, a, of, Senate, of the Senate Republicans, children's lives were put in at risk. Today, the city has a step up and is creating a local speed camera program, allowing the city to issue violations for speeding. The program will be similar to the Aspire the State program Owners of vehicles going more than 10 miles per hour over the speed limit in a school zone will be liable for a 50 civil penalty. But we are improving the state's program in two key ways. One, the number of cameras isn't cap in the bill. And two, the New York City Department of Transportation can expand the hours of operation over a million key students will go back to school in New York City. Thousands of them have been returned, uh, those affiliated with charter school. And when they go back, speed cameras in the city will be turned on because of the action taken by a speaker in this committee. Street safety has been the top priority of this committee and will continue to be the top priority going forward. I would like to thank families for, families for safe streets and transportation alternatives. Without their leadership on this issue, we would not be here today. I would also like to thank the speaker, the administration, and Governor Cuomo for all their work on this issue. Hoy estamos un día muy importante donde la ciudad de Nueva York está tomando acción para restablecer el programa de las cámaras que dan los tickets a los choferes que manejan a altas velocidades y que matan a personas cuando lo golpean. Ante la falta de acción de Albany, la ciudad de Nueva York, encabezada por el vocero Corey Johnson, el alcalde de Blasio y todos los colegas en este comité y en el, en el consejo completo, estaremos votando un proyecto de ley que permitirá de que la ciudad de Nueva York va a crear el propio sistema de detectar aquellos, dar los tickets a los choferes que manejan a alta velocidad. El proyecto de ley que estamos votando hoy es coapiciado por el vocero Corey Johnson, mi persona, Samuel, Jonah, and Lander. I now call for a vote on intro 1089. I recommend a yes vote, and I ask the committee clerk to please call the roll. And, sorry, NBC. And before that, I would like to acknowledge my colleague who is here, Councilmember Cabrera, Dodge, Espinal, Ku, eh, Miller, Richard, eh, Salamanca, and Diaz. Eh, I would like to first vote yes, and then and call the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation on introduction. Councilmember Cabrera. Uh, permission to explain my vote. I'm sorry, Council. Before, before. Chair Rodriguez. Yes. Uh, so that I could explain my vote. So I'll make it very quick. I just want to commend uh, the speaker, uh, the chair, and all the other co prime sponsor and this ascension critical uh, bill. Uh, the fact is, already in my district, already began to see how the culture has already shifted, even throughout the summer, and not having these cameras uh, activated 
and functioning uh, to its full potential. People are starting to speed already and school has not even started. Uh, this is about changing culture. It's about changing behavior. It's about what we prioritize. It's about what we value. And uh, in this council, we value our children. They are our first priority. Uh, and so with that, I vote aye. Deutsch. Uh, permiso para explainar mi voto? Yes. Gracias. So um, while um, I will be voting uh, to support uh, uh, English, and then I'll say a few words in Spanish afterwards. Um, so while I'll be voting on, um, on this bill, um, I just want to explain that um, we as a city, we cannot only rely on the state and we cannot only rely on technology and we need to have our own plan and set an example uh, to others how to protect our school children. So my three proposals, and I have bills for two of the three in the city council that's currently being drafted. Uh, number one is that not all our school children currently have busing. Um, and my first bill is to expand busing service for all children that are um, currently in elementary school. And when you don't have busing, it forces parents to either drive their children to school or have the children walk to school. And that alone causes congestion in and around the schools. So the less children need to walk to school, the more safe it would be. So by expanding bus service, um, that would alleviate a lot of the pedestrian and vehicle traffic around the schools. Secondly, we have what's called control, uh, traffic control offices, which is level two traffic agents, what you currently see in Manhattan and places in downtown Brooklyn. So if we could have traffic control offices direct traffic within 100 feet of a school that has a high accident, uh, accident prone locations as a pilot program to direct traffic and making sure that um, tra traffic runs uh, smoothly around the school areas that will enhance not only the congestion but also will, will maintain um, any type of radical or speeders in that area. And thirdly, um, we don't have currently school crossing guards in every single school in the city and we need to make sure to have that protection that when a child crosses the street uh, near a school that the school crossing guard is there to help those children cross the streets. So having these three, um, I believe that using any type of revenue from the speed cameras should be reinvested um, for the safety of our school children and used for these three uh, proposals that I have in order to make sure that we are better protected, better have uh, better protected, better protecting our children. Um, again, and with these three proposals, um, I think that would be our layer of protection. So if the state shuts down, we have a plan now. Uh, and uh, this would be in addition to have other type of traffic uh, control devices or even speed bumps, like in one of my schools on Avenue P in Bedford Avenue, Madison High School, and that is a high school. We have about six speed bumps right there, and that slows drivers down. So that being said, I, today I will be voting aye on this bill, and, uh, and I would like to thank um, uh, the members of the council for uh, all, you know, being there and supporting um, our, our school children, the safety. And the, yesterday's testimony was really a tearjerker, and it's on my social media now. And uh, I think people need to see the testimony of how one loses a, a loved one. And, uh, and we all have to be on the same page on this. Thank you. And now a few words in Spanish. Muchas gracias. Espinal. I vote aye. Ku. I vote aye. Levine. I vote aye. Menchaca. In dedication to all those who testified yesterday, uh, I vote aye and really hope that the state legislative body can rise to the occasion 
and meet our, uh, our community-led effort. Thank you. I vote aye. Miller. I vote aye. Richards. Hope the Senate Republicans return from vacation to do the people's business in the state, uh, especially when it comes to the public safety of, of our children. Uh, truly mind-boggling, as I said yesterday, that people will play political football uh, with our children's lives. Uh, some things should transcend politics, and um, this is uh, certainly a flaw in character on their, on their side. Um, lastly, I'll just add, I, I'm hoping that in, in um, uh, DOT will also take a look at uh, every school uh, in this city to ensure that there are traffic devices and that there's a public mapping system where the public and the council and others and community boards can certainly uh, view and see what the status of studies are. Uh, speed cameras are not the total answer to addressing public safety. It's a multitude of things, and I'm hoping that we'll continue to look at all of those things as well. With that being said, to the families who've lost loved ones, uh, our prayers are with you. And certainly your loved ones have not died in vain. Today's vote uh, is a major step in, in, in the right direction in ensuring that their memories and their legacy stay alive. With that, I happily vote aye. Salamanca. <clears throat> I, I would just like to say um, this is one of my proudest moments as being a council member here in the city of New York to know that this entire body and the speaker have stepped up um, something we've stepped up and we're delivering something to our district that the Senate in Albany has failed us. Uh, this bill means a lot to me. My four-year-old son will begin universal pre-K sometime next week and I know that um, by us, by this body passing this bill, we're keeping our streets safer. So I gladly vote aye on all. Thank you. Diaz. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I will, I will, I will take, would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Council Member Dosh in his Spanish improvement language. <laughs> you are doing very good, my dear friend. Continue. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Gracias. De nada. I say I will, yes. By vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item has been adopted by the committee. Excuse me. Councilmember Reynoso. I probably vote aye. Vote now stands at 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item is adopted by the committee. I want to acknowledge that we were joined by Councilmember Powers, and we will leave uh, the voting open uh, for an five, five minutes.